action-packed both rounds, but so far really no clear-cut favorite in this fight. Both fighters have been active, but no damage really been done so far. I mean, there was some glimpses of V-Hill just kind of coming forward and really throwing, but I think, you know, Goodwin got another round there. Just, just better pushing the pace, you know, um, landing those combinations, you know, landed a kick there at the end of the round. You know, I think he, uh, you know, established that round. Third and final round about to get underway. Anybody's fight. Ambrose Vigil from Team New Mexico. Braden Goodwin, Team Arizona. Still scoreless with a berth on the finals in the line. Jim Greeshaber along with Frankie Signs And Frankie, anybody's fight at this point. Yeah, if I'm, you know, if I'm in either of these guys' corner, I'm saying takedown. You know, hey, we need to get a takedown. Let's establish this round. Let's win this round. And let's go out with a bang. For sure, and you know, Braden Goodwin cornered by Benson Henderson in Team New Mexico, coached by Joey Villasenor, two very experienced coaches. They've been in a lot of these wars themselves as fighters and as coaches, so you know that they know what to say to these fighters. But a very important fight here, with one of them already being ruled a no contest, both teams need these points. Yeah, Goodwin looks like he's doing more of the same, just pushing that pace, going forward, you know, level changes, mixing it up. You know, with this righty-lefty combo here, you know, it's, it's kind of the guy who wins with the foot outside. You know, you want to be outside of that opponent. That way you can land those right hands or left hands right down the middle. The left getting really close for Braden Goodwin. That overhand left coming across has very, very nearly landed several times. And Hill better watch out. He's been quick enough to get out of the way throughout most of this fight. But he's getting a little bit sloppy here in round number three. Yeah, I'm liking those teeps of the body Hill's throwing. You know, he's really got to keep going forward. I'm sure his coach were yelling at him out there in the, uh, in the middle of the round. Say, hey man, you need, if you want this, you got to push this pace, you got to go forward, you got to get a takedown. I'm sure they're saying they need to finish this round. He is definitely being more aggressive up against that cage in the clinch, just throwing a knee there, trying to work and get that inside trip on Goodwin, but Goodwin not having it so strong with those legs, Frankie. Yeah, V Hill's really pushing the pace going forward. Goodwin looks like he's tiring a little bit. You know, if Hill wants to keep going forward, you know, to win this fight, I mean, that's what he has to do to win this fight. Really push that pace, put it all on the line. You got three minutes here, buddy. Couple of shots landing there from Goodwin. Just throws that kick for purpose. Again, Goodwin in the maroon trunks and the dark trunks with the green. The team New Mexico and Ambrose Vigil. Very impressive, though. Goodwin has a little bit more experience there. Again, he's close with that left. But still, this round looking a lot like the first two rounds. Nobody really doing much to try to get this fight to the ground. They're doing more in the clinch this round as now Goodwin taking Vigil up against the cage. And Goodwin just established this earlier in the fight. You know, level changes, going that two right to the body, you know, and really wearing him out. You know, Vigil couldn't find a way in. You know, Goodwin, Goodwin just established this control and uh, really just pushed the pace of this fight. Looking for that takedown though is Goodwin. Wants to take V Hill down to the mat. And you have to think at this stage of the fight, whoever could score a takedown would be in a real good position to get that win and the points for their team. As it's anybody's fight, as we approach the 10 second mark, V Hill and Goodwin looking to get their team on the board first in this matchup. Let's see V Hill here throwing kicks, going for broke, trying to finish this round with a bang. Both fighters That's with a flurry. Kicks and punches as we approach the end of the fight. And there it is. Goodwin and Hill putting on a show for the fans here in Arizona tonight. Yes, they did, Jim. You know, very evenly matched. You know, two fighters coming out of great camps. I think Braden Goodwin did enough. You know, I love the level changes early. We go to the Fighter Skin fight highlights, reminding fighters to be your brand with Fighter Skin. Solid performance, Frankie, by both fighters. V Hill did everything he could, but in the end, I think maybe just too much Braden Goodwin. Control and pace, you know, was the key to victory in this fight, I think, you know, with Braden Goodwin. Just landing these combinations. And real, nothing fancy, just quick combos. Double jab there. You know, just establishing that control, establishing that rhythm. Nice leg, leg kick, you know, followed by that fake knee. But V Hill wouldn't quit. You know, V Hill pushing forward, landing that hook. V Hill trying to land those with those right body kicks, right head kicks. You know, this kid had a lot of heart. You know, this is the end of the fight, really just pushing forward, trying to make something happen. But in the end, just wasn't able to. 
It's time to send it into the cage for the official announcement with my play-by-play -play partner, Jim Greasehopper. With that unanimous decision, Braden Goodwin moves the Arizona Apollos into a 4-0 lead over the visiting New Mexico Predators. The Elite Amateur Fight League, America's only fan-owned sports league. Sports fans, here's your once-in-a-lifetime chance to become owners in the sports industry. The business of sports is funded by us, the fans, but the profits are collected by a handful of owners who are rich to begin with. My name is Jesse Munoz, the founder of the Elite Amateur Fight League, and we're here to fix that. We want to open the gates of sports industry ownership to the fans. It's really simple. Instead of being owned by elite businessmen, we want the Elite Amateur Fight League to be owned by sports fans. Making the EAFL the world's first fan-owned sports league. Over the last five years, we've invested our own time and money to build the country's first team versus team state versus state amateur MMA tournament and now that we have teams from coast to coast with the most talented fighters from the industry's biggest gyms it's time to hit the accelerator our plan is to raise five hundred thousand dollars to fund the growth of the league by giving our fans an opportunity to become equity owners in the next big sports league and every dime that is raised will go directly back into the league we think this opportunity is similar to investing in the UFC 20 plus years ago and when we're successful the fans will you mean the owners that's right. The owners will all share in the reward. It's so obvious that this platform is long overdue. If we don't do it, someone else will. Whether you invest a big sum of money or as little as $100, you'll still be part owners of the league. Imagine the NFL or the NBA if there was no NCAA. Surprisingly, that was the state of the mixed martial arts industry. A billion dollar business with no national amateur platform. Season 1 was televised and included fighters from four states where Dan Henderson's Team Quest, coached by UFC fighter Sam Elvey, took the first national title in South Bend, Indiana. In our second season, we added Northern California with fighters from Team Alpha Male and crowned New Mexico featuring fighters from the world famous Jackson Luke Academy as Season 2 national champs. And finally, in Season 3, we added the East Coast with Virginia and fighters from American Top Team in Florida. Stretching our reach from coast to coast. My name is Doug Gelman, and I coach out of the ATP Sunrise. The Elite Amateur Fight League, we give a great opportunity for people throughout the country, from the East, West, Midwest, you know, the South, to uh, see those fighters build a fan base. And uh, the Elite Amateur Fight League is gonna give these people the opportunity to do that. We wanna find one million MMA fans, hell, sports fans, to become part owners of this league. If we're able to achieve that with the support of MMA fans, who would also be owners, we would instantly become one of the most influential companies in the sports industry. With your support, we can build the future of MMA. Come get in the cage with us. Answer the bell. Be part of the future. The Elite Amateur Fight League. The future fights here.